30 after years of fighting to stay open, a store in Shano likely will soon be forced to stop selling guns. Federal authorities are planning to revoke the store's license next week. Fox 11's Lou Hillman has our story. After 12 years in business, this Shano store could soon be done selling guns. According to federal court records, it's because of repeated compliance violations that started as soon as the store opened. Since 1999, agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms have conducted three separate inspections of Shano Gun and Loan. The inspections found more than 180 gun sale records that were either missing or incomplete. ATF agents also reported the store knowingly allowed straw purchases. That's when someone with a clean record buys a gun for someone who would not pass a background check. Now, the owner of the store, Timothy Backus, and his attorney were not available to comment for this story. Though when Backus was interviewed by authorities, told him the violations were accidental. Federal authorities, however, say it doesn't matter, arguing repeated violations show disregard or just plain indifference to the law. That's why the Bureau of ATF has moved to revoke the store's license. The agency told the U.S. Attorney's Office in Milwaukee that Shano Gun and Loan must stop selling guns by next Friday. The store has filed a court motion to have that order put on hold. But authorities say having a federal license to sell firearms is a privilege, not a right. Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. According to court documents, the process to revoke the store's license started back in 2007. Now, during the appeals process, the store could still sell guns.